Mike, champion of Ironman 70.3 Geelong, how are you feeling? Yeah, pretty buggered. Um, that was a pretty wobbly last 10k there. Um, probably didn't help biking that hard, but um, yeah, stoked to win. You came out of the water a fair way back and then made your way through that, that bike pack pretty early on. Was that the plan? I uh, just sort of, yeah, I got a bit of an average start in this one, but then I was sort of surrounded by the guys I knew I'd sort of come out with, so um, I wasn't too worried. Um, and yeah, I just thought my only chance is to take the opportunity on the bike. So um, I thought a few might follow me, but um, I had clear sort of clear air straight away. So then I just got to work to try and get as much lead as I could. Coming off the bike five minutes ahead, was it then about hanging on? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I was pretty stoked here five minutes. Um, I sort of do the maths in your head and work out how much slower you can run than them. But um, yeah, it was definitely touch and go there at the end. Uh, three weeks ago, you win Use Grain Ironman New Zealand. You back it up with a win here. How's the body feeling? Yeah, pretty ruined. Um, I said I'd have a break after this race, so yeah, I'm pretty happy to um, shut it down for a few weeks, I think. Uh, first time here in Geelong, how did you enjoy the race? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, you know, challenging bike course, um, quite a nice swim, and uh, the run's quite challenging as well. It's not sort of just your stock standard. Um, so yeah, nice up and down the waterfront. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, you've already got yourself a slot for the World Championships uh, in Nice later in the year. What's the plan between now and then? Um, so I'll have a short break and then I'll probably look to Ironman Cairns um, before heading over to Europe to prepare for Nice. Well, congratulations. Thank you.